Good morning! So it's a Monday morning and I absolutely love Mondays because it always feels like a fresh start. I am ready to slay my goals this week and I hope you are too. So today's video is going to be a full day of eating. What I eat to stay in shape. I've been to the gym this morning. It's my rest day. All I did was walk. So it's not even 7.30 and I've already done nine and a half thousand steps. So I did my walk this morning. It was too dark to walk outside, sadly, but I'm gonna shower, freshen up, and then I will show you what I'm having for breakfast. I'll take you through my full day of eating. And I hope that this video gives you some meal inspiration, but also shows you that you don't have to eat boring foods in order to achieve your goals, whatever they are. My personal goals right now are mainly to maintain shape. I don't really wanna be losing. I don't wanna be gaining. I just want to be focusing on building lean muscle and working on that relationship with food and myself because I'm not competing this year there's no need for me to go to two extremes so I hope that you enjoy this video and as always if you do please remember to like comment subscribe and smile showered fresh and I'm ready for breakfast so today's breakfast is going to be super simple since it's my rest day I am saving my carbs for later in the day usually after a workout I would have carbs and protein but I'm not super hungry this morning so I'm going to keep it nice and light and go for some protein and vegetables I've got some button mushrooms and some egg whites I absolutely love egg whites right now scrambled egg whites I've got some mozzarella cheese just 25 grams and then some mushrooms and I'm going to stir the cheese all throughout it so that it melts and top it with some Himalayan pink rock salt I'm going to tuck into my breakfast and then jump into the emails and do some squad plans and then later on today I'm super excited because I've got physio but for now I'm going to enjoy this and I will check back in with you for my next meal before heading to physio, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I've got a snack here, so it's gonna be some frozen berries along with some light coconut cream. It's a reduced fat version. So what I like to do is put my coconut cream in the fridge so that it comes out a little bit thicker. I am absolutely loving the ghost protein, so I'm going to add 10 grams into my coconut cream before hand blending it. So I've whipped up the protein powder and the coconut cream because it is less fat. It doesn't really blend like a whipped cream, but I'm going to add in my berries. And then if you wanted to, you could freeze it for maybe 10 minutes to just make it a little bit cooler. And then lastly, I'm going to drizzle some sugar-free maple syrup on it. And this is my snack today. Back from physio and it's time for me to prepare my lunch. So I've got two large chicken breasts which I am meal prepping. I've sprinkled them with Cajun seasoning. All I'm going to do is bake this chicken in the oven and then while that is baking I'm going to chop up some Brussels sprouts and pumpkin. I've done it. I've managed to chop up 700 grams of pumpkin. So all I do here is just scatter it out on the pan and then lightly spray it with some olive oil and then bake it. I also have this roast vegetable seasoning, so I'm just going to sprinkle that lightly over it once it's coated in olive oil and stir it all around. Okay, so all I need to do now is take out the chicken. It's been about 20 to 25 minutes. My vegetables are finally chopped up. Take out the chicken and then put in the veggies. Ooh, yum, and go the veggies. So the temperature I am using is 200 degrees and it's on bake. The veggies are in and the chicken is out. In terms of how I meal prep my chicken, so this one here is 280 grams raw and this one here is 300 and 30 grams raw so all i'm going to do is have the right one tomorrow as a whole and then this one here i'm splitting into two portions so i'm going to have half of it today for lunch and then half on wednesday 
So I've diced up one of the chicken breasts for tomorrow. This half is going to be had on Wednesday and then I'm going to have the other half with my pumpkin and Brussels sprouts. So it is almost two o'clock. This is a super late lunch for me, but anyway, I've got my pumpkin, Brussels sprouts and chicken. And I'm excited to eat this and then back to work and I'll catch you for my dinner later on. Okay, so it's now 4.30. I've been working all afternoon on squad plans and emails, but I did want to answer some questions. So I asked on Instagram for you to send me through some questions and I got a few really good ones. So I thought I would answer some of these questions and just have a chit chat about my goals and what I'm up to right now in terms of my fitness journey because I've been sharing my fitness journey with you for so long now and I just thought that I should kind of keep you updated with what I'm actually doing right now. Maddie, does dieting get easier? All I think about is food since tracking. Is it same for you at the start? So whenever I'm shredding, all I can think about is food as I get closer to comp because you are in a deficit and you're hungry. So you're consistently thinking of food and that's normal, but it pays to keep yourself busy and try and distract yourself from thinking of food. I wouldn't say that dieting and leaning down necessarily gets easier each time, but you do get better at it. Like you learn how to fit in foods that help you stay fuller for longer. You get better at using my fitness power. You get more creative with your recipes and all round it does kind of get easier on that front but being in a deficit is never going to be super easy if it was then everyone would be walking around super lean and shredded year round bb fit how many weeks do you take to bulk and get lean for a show so i usually take a year off between competitions just to give myself some time mentally and physically to get stronger and to be honest, shredding down for a competition is not easy. I feel like I need that year off. Last year I did two shows in a year and it was just so stressful on my body. And I honestly am ready for a big break from competing now. So I'm glad that this year I've taken the whole year off to just focus on building muscle and looking after my relationship with myself and food. How tall are you and would love to know your current body fat if you don't mind. Honestly, you guys, I'm so open with you about this. So body fat percentage varies depending what measurement you use. I am pretty good at understanding body fat percentages just by looking at myself or looking at other people. And I also have a scale that measures my body fat percentage. And usually I don't recommend relying on scales and things like that for your body fat percentage. But I think it's quite accurate in terms of where I am right now. And I would say I'm 20% body fat right now over lockdown when i found out that my comp was not going to be happening at six weeks out i decided i would start increasing my calories i got them to well over 2000 calories and i just thought i needed to do a mini cut right now so i'm just doing a two week mini cut super small just to drop my weight down a little bit before going up and above 2000 calories again hungry foodie i love this instagram name favorite and least favorite foods Okay, so I don't know why. The first thing that popped into my head for my least favorite food is blue cheese. And the weirdest thing is I've never even eaten it before. It just smells so gross. And then in terms of things that I like, where to start? Like um, dessert wise, I love ice cream. Pasta wise, I love a good lasagna or a spaghetti bolognese or a carbonara, which I've been making a lot of. Another dessert I love is apple crumble with ice cream bread and butter pudding. I love hot, like hot dessert, wintry desserts. Tanisha, what motivates you to not go overboard with your calories when at a function slash occasion? You know what? Life happens. And the truth is, there's been so many times, even now, that I'll go to an event, a family dinner, an occasion, and I do overeat and I go to bed feeling really full and I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't have eaten that much food. It happens. Life happens. We're all human. What matters most is what you do consistently, not what you do every once in a while. So you know what? If you have a birthday coming up and you want to enjoy it, enjoy it. Try your best to be mindful. If you fall off track, don't beat yourself up about it. So it's making sure that you're enjoying the foods that you're eating so that whenever there's free food around or food at events and things, you don't feel like you're depriving yourself from those kinds of foods. 
that you end up going crazy and kind of like binge eating on those foods in those situations. Couch discipline. I lack it and struggle the most with this in regard to food habits. So this is common. You know what? Food is going to be the number one thing that's going to make or break your progress in the gym. You've probably heard it a million times on my Instagram, but you cannot outwork a bad diet. So in terms of discipline around food, I truly think it really comes down to you understanding why you're doing this. Like, why do you want to lose weight? Why are you on your fitness journey? Why are you going to the gym every single day? There has to be a reason for why you're doing it so that when you know a temptation comes along you can delay that short-term satisfaction for long-term gratification so if you have a compelling why like a why in terms of you want to be able to fit your wedding dress you want to be able to run around with your kids have energy to take the stairs or get through your day or to smash pbs in the gym then you know why you're doing this and why you're sticking to the foods that you're eating as opposed to if you don't have a clear why you don't have any set goals in place or a timeline such as a wedding date you're just going to keep putting off your goals and keep saying yes to all these short-term temptations and frying my brussels sprouts and mushrooms and i'm about to put some pasta on 65 grams of this pulse pasta i'm just going to boil that grams of grated mozzarella cheese my pasta is almost done I like it to be a little bit soft I know it's meant to be firm but I like it soft and then my Brussels sprouts and mushrooms are pretty much done so the next part of this moves very quickly okay, first thing I'm doing is cracking an egg into my mozzarella I'm stirring it all around I've turned off that this is going to be very quick so all I need to do is strain out the spaghetti into the frying pan you could of course use a strainer but I'm not going to I'm going to put in two tablespoons of pasta water a little bit more stir it all around scoop in the cheese and the egg and you want it warm but you don't want it to cook so you need to stir it all around so that it cooks through without cooking the egg and then I'm scooping it into the bowl Oh my gosh, cheesy goodness. That wraps up my full day of eating. I hope that you enjoyed it. I absolutely love everything that I eat and that's why I'm able to stay on track and to just keep going on my fitness journey. I think it's so important to eat the foods that you enjoy and to just make sure that you're getting creative in the kitchen. So I hope that this video gave you some meal inspo and as always, I'm only a message away if you have any questions at all or you can drop a comment below this video. Bye.